Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com. And the creative design team series for April is all about color theory and how to choose colors for your projects. So let's talk just a little bit about color theory and the tools that Close to My Heart has to help you choose colors either for your cards or your scrapbook layouts. Now, I am joining the creative design team and a lot of those girls will dive just a little bit deeper into the different theories, but I wanted to point out, which you've probably seen on a couple of their videos, that Close to My Heart does have a color wheel that is, um, it's got general colors out on the very edge and then it's even got our more specific colors um, that are exclusive to Close to My Heart on the inside. So if you're looking for a specific Close to My Heart color, you would look on the inside and then we've got our generals on the outside. So I just printed this on cardstock. I keep it on my desk. It's real handy to have. But I'm going to show you something else that's even handier to have. And it is Close to My Heart's For Love of Color book. Now this is just one of our 6x8 Everyday Life albums. And I actually have a couple of color, For Love of Color um, how-to programs in here. This top one is our most recent one and it's updated with the colors that were added in the core catalog in September of 2020. And then over here in the back is the one from last year. Now, I'll point out that in the back of each one, and I'll leave links down below to this color wheel as well as this how-to book, but in the back there are, um, or there's an index of colors. Now, these are Close to My Heart exclusive colors. And then you can just find what color you want to do, and it'll tell you what page that's on. Now, before I dive into the colors that I'm going to use, I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I do get a lot of comments, very, very nice comments, complimenting me on the choice of photo with the papers. And so I want to show you how I get that done. Now, I've printed these photos from my Persnickety Print box. And there's two different ones. Of course, both of them have my daughter in there. I've chosen one with this yellow shirt, and then I've chosen one where she has a red shirt on. So what I do is if I know that I'm scrapbooking a specific photo or group of photos, I actually use that photo to decide what color combo I'm going to use. So let's take, for instance, this one. Um, we're in a bathroom. That's not very attractive. Um, we're on a road trip. Uh, her hair is not done. She's been sleeping in the car, but I absolutely love her shirt. And it says, you can change the world, girl. And then, of course, you know, she has leopard on because I am a big leopard fan. So I'm going to show you how to use this for love of color guide when you put your photos first. Because after all, um, to me at least, scrapbooking is is about the photo. Now, I love to make my pages pretty. I love to add lots of dimension. But my first priority is scrapbooking the photo and the story. So this is pretty close to our Sundance color. So I am in the newest for love of color. And you can see right here where I have chosen Sundance and it tells me that that color combo can be found on page 26. So I'm gonna flip over here. So here's our Sundance color. And as you can see, there are several options. So what Close to My Heart has done in this how-to book is it has taken three, like if you wanted to use three colors, it has an option for that, four, and then five colors. So you kind of have to decide how many colors you want to use, and then it tells you what colors go with Sundance. Now I'm assuming that they used this color wheel. I'm assuming that they used all the color theories that, that are out there. But when I don't have time to research color theories, this is the next best thing. This is a tool that you definitely want. Um, and again, if you choose your photo and actually have one of those colors be the color that you're looking for, then everything else will fall into place. So I think for this color, I'm actually going to be using, I'm gonna try the four 
but then we may go back to the three. Again, no rules. It's your, it's your scrapbook page. It's your photo. It's your memory. But this is how I do it. So I'm going to go pull some of these colors and then we can start creating my layout. So I can't make up my mind. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in some colors from this um, combination of four colors and then some colors from this combination of three. And I'm going to show you um, just how much they pop. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this one for the sole purpose of this glacier right here. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let me put this up. Now, there are some products that I'm about to show you that are kind of sneak peeks. They will be in our new May and June idea book. Let me just take this out so we can reference this pretty handily, but I don't have to have this big book. Um, so they will be available in our May and June catalog, but they are also products that you can get right now as part of our um, National Scrapbooking Day kits. So we have this kit. I have pulled a couple of patterns. This is going to be our mix-in. Um, I have pulled a couple of patterns that I think I might use no matter if I go with the four or the three combination. But I also really like the stamp set. Now remember her shirt says you can change the world girl and these are just kind of um, kind of pick me up sentiments this stamp set is called more than you'll ever know the only way to get the stamp set is by purchasing this nsd bundle that has our new may and june mix in so i'm definitely going to set this stamp set off to the side and then again i've pulled a couple of patterns from this mix in that I want to show you and they're neutral. So one thing to remember about color combinations is neutrals are kind of like freebies. You get to use them however you would like. The other pattern that I'm pulling, remember I told you that I'm really digging the three combination because of that glacier. This is why this is the party girl NSD special. And if you were to order this right now on my website, you would receive this wonderful foil cardstock right now. You wouldn't even have to wait until May to get your hands on it. And it is gorgeous. Look at that rose gold foil. Now this is much like um, a special last year where you get one pattern that has the rose gold on it and then you get just a plain piece of glacier cardstock. Now the back side to these foil patterns are just regular cardstock and then you've got the peach uh, sapphire again those are all the same pattern and then you've got this different pattern so you've got sangria ballerina and then our bluebell which is the color of the year just gorgeous so now let me pull in these photos with the two options so from this four color combo, I've decided that peach would probably be my main color. And you can see that's pretty. I mean, you know, pretty. And the brown tile in the uh, bathroom on the side of the road um, is a neutral. And so we could definitely use that. But check this out. Here is, let me just move this peach. Here is that glacier cardstock with the foil and man doesn't that just pop so much more or it does to me I mean you know creativity is to each their own but this is why I'm thinking about going with the three combo the only problem with the three combo on a layout that's a whole lot of real estate I have to cover with only three colors so I'm definitely going to bring in a neutral these are the two neutral patterns that I've pulled from that brand new mix-in collection. Only way to get it is on my website now by ordering that um, NSD kit. And then here are the back sides. So you know I love graph and notebook paper and then, you know, I actually have an accounting degree. So these columnar pad looking patterns, right down my alley. I just don't know if, I just don't know. So I may be doing that. I may be doing this. 
That black is just, I love black polka dots. I love black and white. It's just a little bit too much. So we may just use hints of that. And then we will bring in that avocado somehow, some way, probably by way of embellishments. So that's another thing to keep in mind is look for your photo in a color combo and then your embellishments can also be the color. So let me cut down the mix in um, strips and then we will start assembling this layout. Well, I've got those zip strips cut off and so now I'm going to start cutting my pieces of paper. Now to save that gorgeous um, glacier foiled paper, I'm going to just be cutting strips and then I'm just going to glue it on a piece of white daisy cardstock. And you know, hey, I know that I'm only saving three and a half inches of uh, that foil paper, but it's just so pretty. So I just had to. So I've laid that out and I'm figuring that that lighter mix in, which is kind of like a wood grain. Um, it definitely needed some pop. So here is where I'm going to get to use that black mix in. I'm just using my Versamat to line that up, leaving a quarter of an inch of that half inch strip exposed. And I will leave measurements down below just in case you want to use this sketch for uh, one of your projects. It actually, I was inspired by one of the Cricut collections from the Eat, Play, Love. It's got a two-page layout. And so one of the layouts kind of has, um, I don't know, this look of a three and a half inch piece going from top to bottom. So I'm going to glue that down. Now I did kind of miscut, I guess, once I cut those zip strips off. So I'm just going to trim off that edge of my base page. So it's all even. And then I'm going to start laying things out. Now, one of the things that I am going to do on camera is the use of this stamp set. So there is a sentiment that I'm going to be using or making a shaker element from. So I've pulled our rectangle stitched thin cut as well as our foam rectangle shapes to make this shaker element. So for this sentiment, I'm inking it up in intense black and it says, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you'll ever know. And so I've just stamped that down and then we are going to start stamping the believe. And I'm just gonna go up and down this little lighter piece of pattern paper. Now I'm inking it up in almond and I started in the middle like you see and then I just went all the way to the top and that way the top and the bottom are pretty evenly spaced if you do that. So here's where I'm pulling in that foam for our um, shakers, for our rectangle shakers. And I'm just separating that one frame using my paper piercer. And this foam actually has three different sizes for shakers. And they match perfectly with our thin cut shakers for the rectangle shape. And so I'm just going to build this on that stamped image. Now I'm using my anti-static pouch. And I'm just going to peel that middle rectangle off. Now, separating it with my paper piercer makes it a whole lot easier to peel from those foam squares that actually stay on the carrier sheet. Now, here's where that rose gold sequins are going to come in. And again, I decided to use those because of the rose gold in that Glacier cardstock. Now, one thing I do like doing on my shakers is just taking a few sequins and adding them to the actual base with a glue dot, and that way they stay in place when everything falls to the bottom. Okay, so let's take a look at my finished layout and kind of revisit what I hope you learned. Um, I know I did a lot of the layout off camera, but um, my my sole purpose in this was to basically just kind of tell you how to use the For Love of Color Guide and then um, kind of introduce some of the, the color wheel. So as you can see here, I've added some more yellow pieces to match her shirt. I did end up adding the avocado, which was in this three color combo. And then you can see that I did decide to add peach and I also added some lagoon. So the peach is totally random. Um, basically, what I think is that the rose gold in this Glacier cardstock, as well as these sequins, peach and rose gold are kind of in the same family. And that goes along with Lagoon as well. 
So you can see on the color wheel, you've got blue green colors and Glacier is in that blue green and so is Lagoon. So if you were to be just looking at the general color, you could swap those two colors out. Or in this instance, if Glacier is one of the colors that goes, then you can see here that Lagoon also goes. To me, it's very pleasing to the eye. It's not, um, it's not a distraction at all. And then I added some stickers from that VIP exclusive kit that we did back in February. I just love, I loved that kit and I love those stickers. And then I'm also really happy that all these little puffy stickers came from the Sweet Safari, which um, as you may know, is a baby line. And of course, she's not a baby. I wish she still was. So there is my layout for the most part. Um, I added the splatter and that's pretty much it. I'll add probably some strip journaling, either a couple of pieces down here and a couple of pieces down here, or I may just do it all down here. And that is it. And I'll just do a little bit of the facts right there. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Don't forget that this is a series. So Monday, you'll want to check back for another video where Chelsea will be bringing you her take on one of the color theories. So you'll want to definitely check back tomorrow and then we'll finish off the week on Thursday. So we still have quite a bit of videos to share with you. Again, the other girls might be touching a little bit more on the theories themselves. But I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to use our For the Love of Color book in your projects. And I'll leave those links down below so they're really easy to find as well as a link so you can go ahead and download that color wheel as well. Thank you so much. Here are some still shots and I'll also have these photos on my blog. I'll leave that link down below as well as all the other links to the products that I used in case you want to grab some of these items before you can grab them in the May and June catalog. Now don't forget that tomorrow Chelsea will be up with her color theory and I know that you're going to love it. Chelsea's always got something fun and fresh to share with us. And um, again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and go ahead and click that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video.